Hey babes, it's Siren and happy Halloween! This is probably gonna come out a few days before Halloween, but I wanted to dress up and get festive for you guys. So yeah, happy Halloween and happy Taurus full moon, which is also blue moon. And that is exactly what I wanna talk to you guys about today. All about this full moon, all about this energy that we are feeling with this Scorpio season, with the full moon. And yeah, so let's get into it. make this video because with all of the energy that we're going through I know that so many of you are feeling off or feeling some type of way and I felt really called and really pushed to make a, a video about this energy right now I don't always do this for full moons or like throughout the month occasionally I will but I felt very called to do a video like this this month or for this full moon I've been meditating a lot on it and I have a lot of notes here and a lot of downloads that came through that I want to share with you guys okay so it's today it is Monday um, I think it's the 26th I'm pretty sure it's the 26th and I have been feeling the energy of this full moon for probably at least a week a week and a half now so last week I took a lot of time to just really sit down with my guides and feel out this energy and just um, you know try to figure out how to get through this intense time because we are in some very intense energy right now Mars is in retrograde Mercury is in retrograde we have two full moons this month so energy is really really jam-packed and really just kind of explosive maybe that's a strong word but it's very amplified this month the energy so people are really feeling mostly the Scorpio energy, I think, of just like these deep down, it could be painful things, it could be, you know, these things within us that we are dealing with. So I want to talk about that more. I know a lot of people are feeling very exhausted. I know for me, I have literally just been so tired. I mean, I honestly, other than packing orders and sending out orders last week, I didn't really do much. I felt very tired. I felt very called to rest. Um, the only way I can explain it, I think, is like this sense of like soul exhaustion. It doesn't matter how much sleep I actually get, I'm just like exhausted. It doesn't matter how much coffee I drink or matcha tea or matcha lattes, like I'm just fucking tired, okay? And I know the collective, I know individually we are feeling that. And I think it has a lot to do with this Mars retrograde, okay? So lots of energies lots of major shifts happening and we are feeling it individually we are feeling it through the collective so let's talk as i said earlier that we are about to have a full moon which is also a blue moon and a blue moon is when there's two full moons in a month and the second one is always a blue moon the saying of um, once in a blue moon that's where that comes from Okay, so during this time, a blue moon, you know, it's very rare. So this energy is rare and it's so it's like this extra added energy to full to a full moon. So we are definitely feeling that we've been feeling it all month long with the first full moon this month. So this is a good time to if you I mean, all full moons always are a good time to release and let go. But this with the blue moon it has that extra energy behind it, that extra intensity. So whatever you're working with that you want to let go or release, this is the time to do it. OK, so we just entered Scorpio season. Uh, Scorpio is all about death and transformation and not so much physical death, but, um, you know, death of things that no longer serve us. Okay. So like, you know, an ego death or just, you know, those toxic traits, those things within us that keep us stuck or stagnant death with those things and transforming them and, you know, growing from them. It's also about, you know, that those deep hidden aspects, those deep hidden things within ourselves. Okay. So this full moon is in the sign of Taurus. Okay. So Taurus is about comfort and stability and, you know, 
Um, it can be stubborn energy. So with that Taurus energy, there's a lot of polarity with the Scorpio energy. So there can be a lot of, you know, tug of war right now within you and with what you feel and what you feel like you need to do. And my best way to deal with that feeling is to ground yourself and to ground your energy, okay? So connect with your guides, ground yourself, and that's really going to help you to help navigate this polarized energy that we have going on. It's also retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. So there is quite a bit of Scorpio energy going on. There's lots of transformation going on within us. And that could be why you're tired. Um, that could be why friendships or relationships are falling apart. I know I've seen across social media and people that have reached out to me that, um, you know, a lot of people are finding out their partners have been cheating on them or you know they're just literally friends and friendships are falling out of their lives and this could be like a really obviously a really hard thing to deal with and to you know overcome but I really just want to stress right now that whatever is taking place in your life right now is meant to happen it's meant to make you greater later on it might be painful right now but anything that's leaving your life anybody anything whether it's a job a relationship um, anything that is leaving you or that has harmed you that to where you have had to let go of that thing or that person it's meant to you know remove and to clear and to allow better more positive things to flow into your life okay so there's lots and lots of transformation there's lots of death and transformation transformation death of relationships death of egos you could be really struggling right now with um, just yourself and maybe toxic traits that you have that you know that you need to clear that you need to stop doing in order to evolve and to grow within your life okay so there's lots of like internal battles I feel I feel like every every person literally I know right now is going through it like going through something whether it's you know they're stuck in jobs where they know that they deserve better. They know they deserve to get paid more. They know they deserve to be working a better job, something that fits them more, or whether it's people, you know, that have literally lost the relationships. They found out their partner has been cheating on them for, you know, months and months, and they know they have to leave and get out of that and let go of that relationship. Or I know people that are just cutting people, friendships and groups out of their lives because they know that that is no longer good for them. Okay? so. I know I'm feeling this energy. I know so many of you are feeling this energy, but I just want to, I, like, I cannot stress enough. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I cannot stress enough that anything that's leaving your life right now is meant to go because it's meant to go to clear up space, to bring in more positive or aligned gifts into your life. Okay. So hold tight. As soon as I feel like as soon as Mercury and Mars goes direct next month, that things are going to be so much easier. Things are not going to feel so heavy. Um, I know right now things feel really heavy. I feel like everything kind of feels like it's too much and that is going to get better. That's going to feel once these planets are going uh, direct and definitely once we get out of Scorpio season, things are going to feel lighter. Things are going to start progressing and moving once again. During my meditations, I've had a lot of downloads and even a couple of them weren't even during meditation, but that just came to me and I wrote them down and I do want to share them with you. Okay. These were just things that really really resonated with this energy and I wanted to share them with you guys okay so the first one is the quote I, I keep seeing this all over social media and I feel like when I keep seeing something and it just resonates with the energy that's going on like it's for I keep seeing it for a reason so uh, the first one is and when you become a diamond you will see why life had to pressure you okay so I have been feeling so much of this pressure energy throughout, you know, individually, but throughout the collective is that we are like being pressured this, not even just right now during this energy this week or this month, but this entire year has been a year pressuring us. That has been fucking hard to where like people are already like hanging on by a string. It feels like, or a thread and you know, it's meant to to really 
make us stronger. I know it doesn't seem like that. I can understand that because I am like ruled heavily by Capricorn and I see that and I know that, you know, when, when things are always like, it's hard on you and it's beating you down, it's beating you down. Really, it's making you stronger, like energetically stronger, physically stronger. Like you're going to be able to grow from this, if, but you have to get up and you have to keep going, okay? But there's so many things throughout this year that we are learning. There's so much pressure that we're feeling, but in the end, it's going to make us greater. It's going to make us turn us into that diamond, okay? So hold on. I know this year has been insane and it's been very, very chaotic, but this energy is not going to last forever. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that life will ever be the same again, but things will get easier. Okay. You'll get stronger and you'll be able to, you know, handle this, handle the, handle the energies. And from this, this week, this year, there's so much that you're learning about life and yourself that later on, you're going to be able to use that wisdom in your life to, you know, help yourself or other people. Okay. So the next quote, or not necessarily a quote, but the next download that I got, my eyelash is really bothering me. Um, break down to break through. Okay. So this reminded me of the tarot card in, you know, tarot in the tarot deck, or this reminded me of the tower card in the tarot deck. Okay. So like a lot of people are breaking down a lot of things that people knew. I mean, every, like our life that we knew for our whole lives is literally like breaking down and becoming something completely else, okay? But in our individual lives, relationships are breaking down, you know, things like that. And with the tarot card, the tower card in the tarot, it's literally everything falling apart. It's the tower moment. It's where shit is hitting the fan, shit is hitting the ground, and your whole world is falling apart. But the next card in the tarot deck is the star card. That's like the light at the end of the tunnel. Like sometimes everything has to fall apart in order for everything that's meant to, to fall together. Okay. So sometimes you have to break down in order to have that breakthrough. And I think that that resonates so much with this energy and it really resonated with me. So I wanted to share it next download that came to me and this is actually why I was driving um, I had just gotten my matcha latte and I was in my car and for some reason um, it was just silent in my car and I just kept thinking of the Phoenix rising the Phoenix the Phoenix rising and then I was like oh it's Scorpio season you know the Phoenix like rising from the ashes okay so literally two minutes later down the road I'm sitting at a light and in front of me at the light passes by a huge ass semi that said Phoenix medals on it. And it had the Phoenix literally rising from the fire. And I was like, damn spirit, you cool spirit. I, I hear you. You're talking to me. And literally since that day, every day, something happens where I hear about the Phoenix rising and rising from the ashes. Okay. So I just, I want you guys to know that, that especially we are in, um, Scorpio season and that is really the sign of the Phoenix and it's fucking painful and shit might be on fire right now but we have to gather our inner strength and we have to keep going and we have to be that Phoenix rising from the ashes okay so I'm gonna try I hopefully this video isn't gonna be too long you guys it might be if it is hey <laughs> but um also a big thing that came through is do not engage in drama don't engage in like negative energy. Um, this year, the full moon is on Halloween. So I know, you know, all my Halloween people are like, just so excited about that, but be aware, be vigilant. Don't engage in negative, low vibrational energy. Do not engage in fights. Um, do not engage in arguments and drama. I have to tell myself this too. And just know that all of these people are feeling this intense energy inside and some people don't know where they're coming from. So where this energy is coming from. So they just launch it at anything and everything and thinking it's going to make them feel better. But we know better than that, right? So yes, watch out for drama. 
Um, this just came to me. Definitely, if you're going out this weekend on the full moon, around a lot of people, put some tr black tourmaline in your pocket or some obsidian, uh, a protective stone of some sort. And um, that'll definitely, I think that'll definitely help. I know now I'm definitely gonna do that. So tourmaline or black obsidian, and that'll help to protect you if you do come across some um, negative low vibe energy, okay? So next is, I kind of talked about this earlier, but there's a lot of polarized energy during this full moon. That's that back and forth feeling. That's that, you know, feeling like going one way, the next minute you might feel like going this way. So just be aware of that, stay grounded, okay? Also, with this Scorpio energy, a lot of secrets are gonna be like, like the truth is gonna be coming to light, okay? So you might find about secrets, about negative intentions towards you or or maybe the people that you love. So just be mindful of like these things are coming up because of this energy, okay? And then handle them accordingly, okay? So those are some of my download messages. I still have lots of other notes. So let's get into about this already. But there's a lot of emotions going on. It is a water sign we're in, Scorpio season. Mercury's retrograde in, in Scorpio. So there's a lot of water here. Thankfully, you know, this the full moon is in an earth sign, so you could take some of that earth energy to ground yourself. But there's gonna be, you know, a lot of people are feeling emotional. A lot of people are, you know, are airing out how they feel. A lot of people are playing off of their emotions. So people are dealing with a lot of their own darkness, not even so much other people's darkness but just dealing with their own stuff okay their own inner darkness okay so people could be acting out people could be angry you know it's hard for people to deal with those types of things okay um, a lot of people are just walking out of people's lives or they're removing people from their lives okay some advice I have is to let go of what needs to let go if someone says hey I can't be your friend anymore be like okay well, you know, I respect you, I respect your decision. Don't fight them. Don't try to, whatever the situation is, don't fight it. Don't try to control the outcome because that's when things are gonna go haywire with this type of energy. Um, you have to just allow what is and release any expectation or trying to control outcomes right now with whatever it is, whatever situation that comes into your life, trying to control outcomes is not gonna it's gonna really turn out chaotic in this energy so just release my advice you know is to release outcomes and just flow when we can flow in this type of energy that's when things start working for us but when we're like stiff and we don't want to move and we don't want to budge and we want to control that's when you know things get really chaotic and do not work in your favor at all one of the best things that you can do during such intense energy that we are having right now is to try to keep yourself busy and to stay busy by doing um, positive and productive things, okay? So I think that if you are a creative person, even though, you know, with this energy, you might not feel creative at all, but maybe try doing something else, a different type of creation or creating, okay? Um, I think that that really, when you step into that energy of creation, you're, you know, you're using that that feminine energy and it could really really help you with this energy right now so I think it's a good idea to really uh, work on not caring about what other people think or say about you um, I think there's a lot of opinions and a lot of judgments always that are you know thrown around but I think when people feel this intense energy on them um, some people don't know how to handle it, especially if they're not spiritual, if they're not into astrology or they don't understand where this energy is coming from, it could be hard for them. And so, you know, you might be experience, experiencing a lot more judgment right now or like people being more judgmental towards you. Or what, I, what I'm feeling is you might be judging yourself a lot right now and like scared to put yourself out there or like scared to put your art or your creations out there and yeah i'm feeling that really heavy that you're that you're too worried you're you're comparing yourself to other people you're too worried about what other people are going to think about you but i promise you that you need the world needs you the world needs your energy the world needs your creativity and we have to stop stop comparing ourselves you have to stop caring about what other people think about us because it's not you know it's not healthy mentally and emotionally 
and you were given that gift to be able to create those things for a reason in the world and we need to see your creations and feel your energy okay so stay busy and you know try your best I know like it's so much easier said than done but just trust yourself and do those things that you love and share them with the world just know right now that whatever you are going through um, is predestined okay so you know I know that people are losing relationships and friendships and things like that but those things are being cleared out of your life for a reason because the universe or God or you know whoever it is that you believe in wants to put more positive more aligned relationships jobs or friendships into your life okay so trust in God trust in the universe right now um, trust in spirit I think it's so important during intense energy like this to connect with your spirit guides and to keep your energy grounded uh, meditation during hard times is super super important for me I know is I feel like as soon as I like take one day off of meditation and then it always turns into two days and then you know and then you get irregular with your meditation uh, schedule and I feel like I always turn into a mess or like something falls apart in my life or something like when I don't meditate meditation is even if it's literally like 10 minutes um, I know last week I went and laid out in my hammock and I just laid there and I listened to a guided meditation and it was literally like 15 minutes long and I felt like a whole new person afterwards I felt in in alignment I felt connected to my guides I felt you know I had all these downloads and I'm sharing with you guys today come through and it was just meditation is just so key in spiritual development it's so key when we're dealing with intense energies like we are right now and yeah so stay connected to spirit right now when things get hard in the world within your life like it's so important to stay connected you know to your spirit guides or to God or you know that that um, spiritual thing or being that you lean on when you are going through a hard time release attachment to things I know I already spoke about this a little bit but releasing attachment or releasing you know your outcomes to things like it's <laughs> It really can change your life because you don't have this expectation of things you're just like whatever is is whatever is meant to be is meant to be and it really takes off so much pressure that you know what I mean if something doesn't turn out your way or you know if he doesn't call or if you don't get that job like when you release and let the universe take care of it it helps you manage your stress so much more okay so release expectations. I do want to bring up also that um, it's important right now to you know try your best to be kind and compassionate of course to yourself but to others too because you know everybody's feeling this everybody has went through like a literal whirlwind this year everybody's life has changed okay everybody has these overwhelming intense emotions going on you know everybody's life has changed so you know try your best to just have compassion and be kind to others okay I think it's a really good time to also focus on protection work protection spells protection rituals layers of protection and I want to do a layers of protection video soon but it's important to have more than like a tourmaline crystal on you like you need to have layers there needs to be defense within you know your home around your home with you as a person uh, just there's a lot of I mean even during this energy there could be lots of psychic attacks and I don't say any of this to scare anybody at all um, or to promote fear but I think it's wise whether you're spiritual or not to to know about protection and know how to spiritually emotionally physically protect yourself okay so I think that you know taking time on the full moon or the day before the full moon to really focus on protection work and protecting your home and protecting your spirituality I really think it's important always but especially during Scorpio energy the veil to you know the other realms they are very thin I right mention now. a couple more things before I end this video I do want to say that everything I say in here is just my opinions or my advice you're obviously your own person and at the end of the day you can do what you want but I'm just here to help I'm here to share my wisdom and my knowledge and it's just my opinion and my suggestions so 
if they don't resonate with you, don't take them, okay? Like, do, you should, within magic or within your spirituality, you should never agree or do something or take on something that does not resonate with you, okay? So know that whether you watch me, whether you watch other, you know, spiritual people on YouTube or whatever you watch, if something does not resonate with you, if you go and get a, a psychic reading by someone and they're telling you all these crazy things and it doesn't resonate with you, er, don't accept it, do not allow that, don't agree to that, okay? So I just wanted to say that. Um, also, I do want to say that if you are someone who is just really, really feeling bogged down, you're feeling a lot of internal conflict going on, you're going through a lot in your life, things are falling apart, you know, everything like I talked about at the beginning of the video, um, I think that right now, you know, um, channeling that Phoenix Rising energy is such a good idea and it could really, you know, focusing on you being that phoenix rising and whatever you're going through knowing that you're going to grow from it you're going to rise from it and you're going to be stronger than ever channel that energy right now i think i've heard so much lately about the phoenix rising and i swear like that's what spirit is trying to tell me and wants me to share with you all is that no matter what you're going through right now you're going to rise above it you're going to gain strength and you're going to eyes and you're going to be stronger than you ever have because of the things you're going through right now okay also if you're someone who you know uses magical oils or intention oils i do have a phoenix rising oil in my shop that's made exactly for this type of energy if you are getting out of a, a bad relationship if you are just really having a really hard time and you're looking for you know the energies of bringing you out of this difficult time my phoenix rising enchantment oil is that oil Okay, next I do want to just share a couple little things that you can do during this full moon, um, during the full moon energies. Okay, so of course this is a full moon that you want to cleanse your crystals and charge your crystals under the full moon, under the blue moon. Okay, this is a good time to, I think, cleanse your altar clean your altar, make sure things are clean, clean your home, energetically cleanse your home, make sure your things are picked up. I promise you, if you are feeling like shit right now, if you pull yourself up and you clean and you um, rearrange, that is always such an uplifting thing to do. You could sage your house, you can, you know, get some positive frequencies going on, on, you know, your TV or whatever. Just, I think, cleansing right now and removing and letting go of anything, you know, that doesn't uh, serve you. If you have things that you need to take to the thrift store or to a charity or something like that, cleanse that way and take old things that you don't use. And all of this does, removing things from your life, whether it's, you know, physical, mental, emotional, all of the removing all of those things allows for you know the things that you need and resonate those things to flow into your life it frees up space it gives room for better things to flow in okay this is a great full moon to make some moon water i have a video and i will link it below all about how to make moon water we talked about this a little bit earlier but cleansing your aura doing like cleansing baths, goddess baths, those types of things. You can use Epsom salt, sea salt, cleanse your energy, cleanse your body. That is gonna help you feel so much better as well. And grounding yourself, okay? So whether it's meditating or whether you go outside and just plant your feet on the bare earth, in the grass, in the dirt, or just lay in the grass and just, you know, you can meditate that way and just connect to mother earth. Uh, one of my favorite ways to ground is to go outside, bare feet, plant my feet on the earth, and then picture like this light, like a tether going through my body, but it's made of light, like a bright light, a white light, and it starts through my head and it goes all the way through my body, and this light goes down into the earth and anchors into the earth. And this is a way to energetically ground your energy, ground your body, and it is so helpful. Just being out in nature for me is a great way to ground. We are in a water sign season, so Scorpio season. If you can get near like springs or water or lakes and ground your energy that way and go swimming, that's another awesome way. Or you can just do it in your bathtub or your shower. Just set the intentions to, you know, cleanse and ground your energy. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I want to talk about? 
I think I pretty much cover, covered everything in my notes, in my downloads. So, you know, I know this is a very intense time, but you know, everything that we're going through now and the pain that we're, we're going through right now, it's obviously painful, but you know what? One day we're going to be able to look back at this year uh, for one, but you know, this time, this Scorpio season, this intense energy, and we're going to be able to be like, damn, I am so much stronger because of that moment or because of that week or because of that year. I'm so much stronger and I'm so much wiser because I am able to see things from a different point of view. And you know, you grow from those things and you're going to understand why you had to go through some things. Okay. So stay strong, hang in there, be that Phoenix rising, rising from the ashes. Okay. And I will see you guys next time on the next video. If you love this video and you would like to receive some more spiritual insight from me about magic and manifestation, please hit that subscribe button and like and share with all of your witchy friends. Uh, for more spiritual insight, you can check me out on Instagram at the Dragon Witch and at Siren Serenity. Lately, I've been doing a lot of cool reels, um, different spells and different rituals on my personal Instagram, uh, The Dragon Witch. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I hope you guys all have a beautiful full moon in Taurus and take care. One thing that I did forget to mention is that if you are a water sign or so a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, if you are a water sign or you have water sign dominant energies within your natal chart, you are going to be feeling this energy or really all energies, all um, astrological transits, things like that. You could feel them extra. You could feel them more heavier than other people. Also, not just that. If you consider, you know, you're an empath and you know, you feel other people's energies you could really be feeling this energy too, like at an overwhelming amount of feeling it, okay? And not just, like I said, not just this energy, but most big transits and big, you know, cosmic events that we have going on, you are going to be feeling them. So I think it's a good idea to keep track in your notes about, you know, what transits are going on, what cosmic events are happening and record how you feel. And then you can get to the point where you can like brace yourself for energies and you could kind of, you know, see what you need to do and what makes you feel better and how you feel and you have it recorded and written down. And, you know, after a while, you'll be able to really um, prepare yourself for big energies like right now. Okay. So those people that are feeling this, ex feeling this really heavy or at an extreme amount, be gentle with yourself. Take good care of yourself, okay? If your body is telling you to rest, that's exactly what you need to do. Like, let go of the guilt that comes behind resting and not doing the million things that you're meant to do that day. Rest, listen to your body, you know, take a 30-minute nap. I, <laughs> I did that like twice last week and I took a nap and I literally woke up and I was like, damn. Like, I feel like a completely different person than before I took that nap, okay? So I try, I've in the last year, I've really tried to listen to my body more. No matter what your mind is telling you, you know, no matter what your to-do list says, if your body is telling you something, you should really start to learn how to listen, okay? Because your body knows best. All right, I just want to throw that in there. I hope you guys all have a beautiful, beautiful full moon and an awesome Halloween, okay? I hope that you guys have a blast.